green card process with a master's degree or in outstanding achievements in arts, EB1, work. The process of obtaining a green card in the United States through the EB-1 category, specifically for individuals with outstanding achievements in the arts and a master's degree, can be complex. In this guide, we will provide an overview of the EB-1 visa process and immigration guidance, covering all the necessary details. Please note that this guide will be divided into several sections to ensure comprehensive coverage. Section 1, Understanding the EB-1 Visa Category The EB-1 Visa Category is one of the employment-based immigrant visa preference categories. It is designed for individuals with extraordinary abilities in their respective fields. The category includes three subcategories EB-1A for individuals with extraordinary abilities, EB-1B for outstanding professors and researchers, and EB-1C for multinational executives and managers. In this guide, we will focus on the EB-1A subcategory, which is most relevant to individuals with outstanding achievements in the arts and a master's degree. Section 2, Eligibility Criteria for EB-1A Visa To qualify for an EB-1A visa, individuals must meet certain eligibility criteria, including 1. Extraordinary ability, demonstrating extraordinary ability in the arts, which means having sustained national or international acclaim and recognition in the field. Specific evidence, providing evidence of extraordinary ability through various means, such as receiving major awards or prizes, membership in prestigious organizations, published material about the individual's work, participation as a judge of the work of others, evidence of artistic exhibitions or showcases, etc. 3. National or international recognition, showing that the individual's achievements have been recognized nationally or internationally in the field of arts. 4. Intent to continue work, demonstrating the intention to continue working in the arts field in the United States. Section 3. The Application Process The application process for an EB-1 visa involves several steps, including Form I-140, Filing the Immigrant Petition for Alien Worker, Form I-140, with the U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. This form serves as the initial application for the EB-1A visa. Supporting documentation, collecting and submitting all the necessary supporting documentation, including evidence of extraordinary ability, educational qualifications, achievements, etc. 3. Premium processing Optional premium processing is available for faster adjudication of the application, but it requires an additional fee. Visa Bulletin and Priority Date Monitoring the Visa Bulletin to determine the availability of immigrant visa numbers for the EB-1A category. Priority dates may be required for visa issuance. Adjustment of status or consular processing. Once the Form I-140 is approved, individuals can either apply for adjustment of status if they are already in the United States, or go through consular processing if they are outside the country. Section 4, Immigration Guidance and Documentation. To successfully navigate the EB-1 A visa process, it is crucial to have proper immigration guidance and prepare the required documentation. Some key points to consider include Consultation with an immigration attorney, seeking professional advice from an experienced immigration attorney who specializes in employment-based immigration can significantly increase the chances of a successful application. 2. Collecting evidence, gathering all the necessary evidence to establish extraordinary ability, such as awards, publications, media coverage, letters of recommendation, etc. 
3. Recommendation letters, obtaining strong recommendation letters from experts in the field attesting to the individual's extraordinary abilities and contributions. Personal statement, crafting a compelling personal statement that highlights the individual's achievements, impact in the arts field, and intentions to continue working in the United States. 5. Translations and notarization, translating any documents not in English and ensuring they are properly notarized. 6. Application fees, paying the required filing fees for the Form I-140 and any optional premium processing. Section 5. Additional Considerations While this guide provides a comprehensive overview of Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.